Hi guys, my name's Lily and welcome to my niche and it's time for the September notes. All right, this month's notes might be a little bit more underwhelming than most months because I've been just really busy so I haven't gotten to film as much. Like I've been doing things and just kind of vibing and instead of filming it, I've just been enjoying myself. So I'm sorry if there's less content this month. Goal number one is welcome week because well, I'm a sophomore and they actually hosted a welcome week for us because we didn't get one last year for obvious reasons. So me and my friend Cece went and did a bunch of the Welcome Week events and you'll see some footage of that and some pictures and just get to see what we did for the week. Uh, I don't know if I filmed that much of it, but you'll see something. And goal number two is to go to the Monarch Butterfly Festival here in Minneapolis because there is a festival to celebrate the migration of monarchs going from Minnesota all the way down to Mexico because that's usually where they're their migration kind of starts is here in Minnesota. So yeah, we'll get to see some pretty art and just get to see all sorts of monarch butterfly stuff and pretty things and take cute pictures and all sorts of stuff. Goal number three is to repink my hair because uh, it was fading earlier in the month. Right now it's actually not too bad, but I bought this new product called Overtone Con Coloring Conditioner not sponsored, just to start off the bat there, but I ordered that and you guys can see my review of it. It will be a completely honest review, so, you know, it's not sponsored, there's no, I'm not getting paid for anything, so, you know, I'm too small of a channel to be getting paid, guys. Like, you shouldn't be worried about that. So, uh, but it's gonna be me reviewing the product and showing you how I use the product. So yeah, uh, otherwise, that's all the goals for this month. I know, kind of lame, I'm sure, by the sounds of it. But yeah, a short and sweet one because I've just been really busy between school and like social events that I just haven't gotten to film a lot. So I'm very sorry, but otherwise, yeah, that's the goals for this month, so let's get started. It's a double rainbow! Like you can just barely see the second one here, but look at how pretty! It's so pretty, guys! Look at it! Like I, I didn't see the second one at first, so I just saw the obviously the very obvious rainbow that's here. And then I was literally that guy from the famous double rainbow video. I was gasping about how there's a second one that's very faint, but it's there. You can see it even on camera. It looks so pretty.
bought this product. I bought Overtone in Pastel Magenta. This is a coloring conditioner and I haven't tried it before. So I dyed my hair at the start of the month of August and it came out really quickly. It still looks nice, but it's not quite as vibrant as I want it to be. So I kind of want to revitalize it. The under part's a lot pinker than the upper part. And so I got this product from Overtone. Pastel Magenta is the color and it's coloring conditioner. So we're gonna open it and see what it looks like. And then we'll probably do a test strand. We'll see, it wants you to do a hidden strand, but like all of my hair is really pink on the bottom still, like pretty much what it was when I um, first dyed it versus the upper stuff. Oh my God, that's really pink, okay. <laughs> that's very, very pink. <laughs> Like, very pink. Okay. Um, it smells really good. It smells like kind of minty. Like spearmint or something. It really smells nice. So we're going to just put a little bit in the hair. And do I have my phone? I do. Let's get it ready for a timer. Also, this is cruelty free and it's vegan. Um, 10 to 15 minutes. We'll see how pink it turns out. I'm a little nervous. Okay, I changed shirts and now we're just gonna kind of wing it on this whole thing and this hair's already fallen out. Great, time for leg love. And we're just gonna take it right off this lid here and hope that it works out. So there's a big glob here. We'll see how this goes, so. Okay, this is probably a mistake not putting it on both gloves, so. Okay, you know what, we're just gonna do all of this section because there's a lot of pigment. And yeah, I'm probably gonna have stained hands after this. So, good times guys, good times. Oh, pink just fell, okay. It's fine, okay? I have a shirt, shitty shirt on for a reason. There's like a bunch of pink right on my glove and it won't come off like tucked in the crevices of the glove itself. Okay, is this even staining? I don't think it is. Let's just see. I don't think it's staining my hands. So you know what? I don't care if there's pigmentation on my hands at this point. So. All right, I will see you all in 10 minutes. So the test strand turned out really well. It's still kind of wet, but it's very dark pink and the purple is a lot more intense, more of a purple that it turned out when I first did my hair. So the lighting is awful. I'm very sorry. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go and cover the rest of my hair and I'm just gonna do this without a cover on my hands because my hands didn't turn pink, so very promising. So yeah, let's start. hands are very pink. If you wash your hands, it's still pretty pink actually. There's still some staining, but like, do I care? No. <laughs> the gloves are too much in the way when you do this. I think I got my bangs good, which is what I really care about. It's been in for a while. We'll set a timer for 10 minutes to the max. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna ha let this and then I will wash it out and I'll update you. Also, for an update, um, I have bought both the overtone conditioner, like actual for when you're in the shower, as well as the coloring conditioner now. And the conditioner for the shower, that's in like a bottle, uh, that doesn't stain your hands like at all. Like I've used it and I used the gloves the first time and I got no staining. This stuff definitely stains your hands, like very pink, but um, they're really cheap plastic ones, like or like thin, you know crinkly ones they work great don't get me wrong these won't get you won't get staining on your hands because of this but i think they're kind of cumbersome to try to the dye will get all over them and then you can't use it somehow so you know it's the trade-off do you want to get stained hands or do you want to get the most out of the product so just like actually using it instead of giving it everywhere so yeah it definitely made my hands pink but i can live with that um I'm an artsy person. I just look colorful and fun now. So I'll update you guys when I'm done. So. All right, it's the next day and my hair's dry after putting in the overtone 
coloring conditioner and here's the results it's pretty good uh, it's a lot more purple than my original hair dye was but that's okay I'm pretty fine with that it's gotten the pink back into my bangs and stuff it's definitely got streaks in here not the products fault my own fault for how I applied it to my head I kind of knew this would happen but I'm not mad at it it's now got like so much more color to it and uh, again a lot more of a purpley magenta just because I got like pastel magenta I would have gotten like the pink pastel color that they have but it was out of stock and had been out of stock for like two weeks. I was waiting for it for like over a month, I think. I, like it was a long time. I was waiting for them to restock. So I finally just bought the pastel magenta in hopes that it'll kind of fade out into like a color that I originally had dyed my hair. So, but yeah, it's brought in the pink back. So it looks a lot less sad than it used to. Um, it's a little bit more intense on camera here. I'm seeing um, in person, it's a little bit less kind of bright pink it's a little bit more um it's got like a warmer tone to it than this kind of shocking tone on camera but it's lovely I love it so far uh it's worked out great so we'll have to see how long it lasts in my hair they recommend that you reapply that stuff once a week so we'll see I might end up leaving it out for longer than that just to see how it goes you know figure out if my dye will you know if it will keep this color for longer or if I like the color of kind of the in-between like of like two weeks going by so we'll see but yeah I think it looks really pretty it turned out fabulous this product is wonderful it's not sponsored whatsoever uh, I had seen it in an old Marcia video when she had dyed her hair pink and I was like oh I should check that out so yeah that's how I came across it but I would recommend it um, definitely wear gloves because it will stain your skin to be fair my hands are no longer pink um, um, they're not really that, they're not stained pink anymore. My nails are a little bit, but in the shower, it pretty much came out eventually. So again, and that was last night. So they're not, you know, stained pink anymore. <laughs> um, but you could wear gloves if you just don't want to risk it. Otherwise, yeah, this stuff was fantastic. I would probably be a little bit more, um, careful about how you apply it like actually section your hair as opposed to just winging it like I did so yeah otherwise I would highly recommend this brand and this um, product because it was actually really cool and fantastic and it's not actual hair dye so that's nice you know not more chemicals in my hair so and it's cruelty free and vegan apparently so that's cool yeah Okay, so there we go. Bye guys. And there are this month's notes. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I know this one might be not as exciting as other months, so I'm sorry, but please hold out. Next month will probably be better. We're coming to the end of the year here soon, which is just kind of crazy that I've been doing this for like nine months now. So yeah, but otherwise, I wanted to also say thank you so much for getting me to 50 subscribers. Uh, I might actually be close to 60 now, I think last I checked, but uh, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much because it means a lot to me I've been trying really hard with this channel so seeing that people actually enjoy my content means a lot to me and yeah so thank you so much if you are subscribed if you're not consider hitting that subscribe button and possibly that bell notification because then you'll get to know when I make any sort of content uh, otherwise I try to publish videos every week but it's more likely to be every other week or possibly longer because well I'm a college student okay I'm busy I have homework to do and crying over grades okay uh, otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please consider liking and commenting on the video as well if you did enjoy this video or if you want more content from me or if you have any video ideas that you would like to see me do or things to do in future notes videos. Otherwise, my name's been Lily and this has been my niche. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!